Hello everyone, I'm Randomell, and today we're going to be doing another Discord tutorial. Let's just jump right in. So I've had to re-record this, as you can see, I've got my Premiere Pro open right now, and apparently there's no audio on it, but... So I'm just re-recording this. Anyway, let's jump right in. So as you can see, um, in the last episode we made this. As you can see, we have this bot.js file. It has zero bytes in it, but we're just about to change that. So in this series, I will be using Visual Studio Code to, you know, edit the bot.js file. Um, if you want Visual Studio Code, you can go to code.visualstudio.com. You can just click on the little download button there. It's cross-platform, so it works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. And it's also open source as well. One thing I wouldn't advise you to do is use it with Notepad or WordPad. Um, the reason why I wouldn't want you to open it using Notepad or WordPad is because the formatting could get, you know, screwed up or something like that. So, yeah, I don't recommend that. All right, everyone. Now we have bot.js here. This is just my notes, so I remember how to do it. You want us to start off with um, de declaring um, the variable discordy and client. So var um, discordy. That's capital D, by the way, at the beginning. Um, if you don't know the basics of like JavaScript and how to do JavaScript and stuff, um, I'd really recommend you um, look up how to do that before returning to this tutorial. Space equals space require, and then um, in the in the um, parentheses put quotation marks, and in the quotation marks put discordy. So basically, what this does is it gets um, discordy from your node modules right here. Let's just type var client equals space new discordy, like, like that. And then you want to go to line four and then you want to type in client.connect, normal parentheses, and then like the curly bracket kind of parentheses things. And then you want to put a semicolon at the end of this closing um, normal parentheses. And then you want to do one tab space and client.connect and type in token colon space and then type in quotation marks um if you haven't seen if you saw the last episode you would know how to get the token um here's my randomly generated token for this episode so you want to go to line a and you want to type client dot dispatcher by the way that's a capital d at the beginning of dispatcher dot on and you just want to make the same setup as the last um client dot connect here as you can see like that. So now, after this opening parenthesis, but before the curly, opening curly bracket, you wanna type in um, quotation marks first. And then in those quotation marks, in all caps, put gateway underscore ready, put a comma after the closing um, quotation marks, and then press, press space, and then put E equals um, right arrow space, like that. You can just see it right here on the screen right now. It's supposed, it should look like that. All right, another tab space inside the function. So let me explain what this does here for a second. Basically, E stands for event, and um, basically the dispatcher, we're telling the dispatcher to tell us as soon as um, Gateway is ready, AKA the bot, um, I mean Discordy is connected to Discord's like API, then um, do this. So in this case, in here, we're just gonna make it print out the username of the bot. Like, so just check the screen. So yeah, um, let's copy and paste this one into line 12, but we're gonna replace gateway ready with message underscore create. This will basically, this function, it will the dispatcher will tell us whenever a, it, the bot finds a new message in any of the servers it's in. Yeah, I'm just going to copy and paste this. You can copy and paste it from the um, GitHub link in the video description. Um, I have store. You can change it to whatever you want. <sighs> that was a lot of code, guys. <laughs> so now what you want to do is save the bot.js file. Then what you want to do is you want to um, go into the same directory as the um, bot.js file in um, a command prompt or a terminal. And then you want to type node space bot or whatever your JS file Bot, your JS file continue your bot's call and um, it'll take a few seconds but eventually it should say connected as TRM tutorial bot like that I mean username TRM tutorial bot <laughs> yeah let's um, now take a look 
on Discord. Okay, as you can see, I've already set up a server. Um, I will have a readme on the GitHub link in the description that will tell you how to invite uh, a bot into a server that you own and the bot responds. These, these are the two commands I just set up. Um, it was um, star ping, it re replies with pong, and star meme, it puts dank. This is sadly where I leave you all for today. I hope you enjoyed the bot tutorials. Please, please, please send me suggestions for what I should cover in the next episode. I really, really do need some um, suggestions. Like, comment, and share, and all that good stuff. Subscribe and turn on that bell to be notified when I upload new content. I also have a Vidme, a Google Plus, a Twitter, a Gab, and a Facebook account. Go follow me. Anyways, bye.